Hey guys, this is Blake with Fueling to Function, and what I'm going to do today with all these ingredients is make one very simple burrito. Uh, this is going to be pretty basic. Um, what I have out is a bunch of vegetables, is why it looks so overwhelming. I'm just going to be using a white onion, spinach, and cabbage today, but you could use bell peppers. You could pretty much use any vegetables you want, and that's going to add in nutrients and fiber to our burrito and kind of have more of the health aspect benefit, but we're also going to be adding in a lot of other stuff to make a delicious burrito. So, vegetables. Okay then, so for our filling, I'm gonna be using some tomatoes, which I'm gonna saute my vegetables in. Um, probably don't need to eat stuff out of a can that often, but these are convenient and they taste really great. Um, I'm also gonna be putting some rice, Some I'm gonna cook it obviously, cooked brown rice in my burrito. Um, and then what I have here is some shredded crock pot salsa chicken, which is really great and it's going to taste great on the burrito. Um, additionally, you could add in black beans, um, any type of bean, refried bean, other vegetables, other types of rice. Um, I may or may not add in a slice of cheese today or you could use some sour cream or anything. And then I'm going to add in probably half an avocado. Avocado is a great healthy fat source and it's giving it a nice creamy texture. Then obviously to make a burrito you're going to need a tortilla. What I have here are three different types. Uh, I'd recommend not going with the big flour tortillas unless you're maybe trying to gain weight because they generally aren't going to have that much fiber but they are probably going to taste the best. Um, these, they're called Smart and Delicious by La Tortilla Factory. Um, they're 100 calories and they mimic a flour tortilla pretty darn well. They taste pretty darn good and they don't rip that easy. They're just not quite as big as your typical flour tortilla. But they're loaded with fiber and they're really, really healthy. Um, so that's a good option, a good replacement, and they aren't that much more. Um, another option, this is the light version. They also have a regular 100 calorie version which is a little bit better as far as ripping and stuff goes. But flat out tortillas are really high in protein really high in fiber and really low in calories. They taste pretty good, but you can't wrap your burrito and then walk off. Pretty much as soon as you put stuff on the tortilla, you need to be ready to eat because these tend to rip really easy. So my recommendation would be the La Tortilla Factory Smart Delicious Tortillas, but like I said, you can use whatever you want. You just have to fit the numbers into your daily uh, diet numbers. And then for like a topping, you could use anything you want. You could use guacamole instead of the avocado slices. You could use sour cream. You could use some kind of chipotle ranch dressing. I'm just going to be using salsa today. It's really healthy. It's just tomatoes and peppers mashed up. And it's really low in calories. Two tablespoons, which is pretty much all you're probably going to need for this, is only 10 calories. So it's a lot better choice than ranch dressing or something where one tablespoon is like 100 calories. Um, but you can put on whatever you want. You just have to fit it into your daily diet. So let's get started. Okay guys, so as you saw, I cooked down my veggies um, I, and my rice and I just put them in this little container right here. Then I have my tortilla, I did the La Tortilla Factory Tortilla. And this is probably about 2 ounces of raw chicken, 1.5 ounces cooked uh, in the crock pot salsa chicken recipe that I was talking about earlier, which I should probably make a video on maybe next weekend when I cook my chicken in bulk next time. But it's a really great tasting recipe. Um, it's great for burritos and it's really convenient because you can cook a bunch, put it in the fridge and just pull it out when you need it. Um, so then all you're going to do is put your veggies on your burrito and whatever else you choose and wrap it. I'm going to apologize. I made this video earlier today and I went the nine yards, I had cheese, I had uh, avocado, I had everything on it and the video pretty much sucked so I just remade it in a low calorie, lower calorie version. Um, so I guess if you were dieting this would probably be more the route you were taking anyways. But I'll try and shoot in a little clip of the one I made earlier. Play with this, customize it to your liking, add in other things you think might taste good. Like I said, beans, cheese, avocado, guacamole, sour cream, anything really. And then just wrap this up and enjoy.
guys, so that's pretty much going to do it. You can add in anything else you want now. Um, I'm probably going to put a little bit of hot sauce, maybe salsa on mine. I hope you give this a shot. Try it out. Mix it up a little bit. If there's anything in this video I made that you're not really sure how I made or something that I didn't clarify, leave me a comment so I can be sure to improve it in future videos. Like this video if you plan on trying this, if you think it's a good recipe or a good idea. Um, and, you know, I hope you can implement this into your diet because something like this is a lot healthier than going to Taco Bell or something and get a burrito for lunch. Um, and you could just put something in a Tupperware like this and take a bag of tortillas with you to work and then just pop a little bit out and heat it up and you've got a really good, easy, healthy lunch. Or if you're working late dinner, you can take this with you places. But I think it's going to be a really useful recipe for people. I think it tastes great. I hope you give it a shot. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. Share this with someone that you think would appreciate it. Um, and just tell me what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Have a great day.